Hey y'all, it's your boy Jemison. This is a tutorial on how I used Canva and InstaShot to make a meme video, pretty much, with text and all of that. So, here you see that I'm searching Google for a meme. I did a search for Wendy Williams Side Eye, and it took me to this uh, GIF site where I just selected a gift that I thought was funny or that was interesting. Um, and as you can see, I'm screen recording this because that's exactly what I use to be able to save the gift. So I pretty much use my screen record option on my iPhone to record or screen record that gift that I wanted to use. So I clicked on it, opened it, and then uh, pretty much record that for a second. And then I uh, stopped the recording and then went into Canva, which you'll see in a second. I'm going to go into Canva and then go into uh, Instagram post, blank. Uh, and then I added that video to Canva. So just watch that really for a second here. You'll see what I'm doing. I click on Instagram post and then I hit blank. It pulls up a white background, and then you see me hit the plus sign to add in a video from a camera roll. And you see me uh, trimming down that video to where you get to the, the, the GIF that I recorded. And then I'm going to resize it so that it fits the top of the screen. So that's what you're going to see me doing here. Now, keep in mind, you can design your videos the way that you want to. You know, this was just something that I tried out and looked good to my eye that I was okay with. And that's what was posted here in the group um, or in the group that I was in. Um, just so you have an idea of what I actually did. So, excuse for me trying to like organize and get everything together so I can show you exactly what I did but you have to play with the resizing of it you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you just have to decide what's going to work for what you want to do as you play with it and that's what you see me doing here playing with the size to get you know everything positioned the way that I see it and that will look aesthetically pleasing once I post it. Also, once I get this centered the way I want it to be, I also went and added more images to it and kind of set them above the uh, picture. Well, above the video, rather, so that it kind of overlapped. And you'll see me do that here with the yellow. But I, um, cause I, that's my brand color. And then I decided to go from the yellow back to the black so that it will look better with the text on it. Now, you don't have to do this in the same order that I did it. You can start off with the image, the yellow image on the background, and then add the Wendy uh, gift or whatever gift you're trying to add on top of it. Um, you can play around with it. This is just how I did it when I initiated my, my video that I did um, with the gift, which I thought was so... I just did it off the, the fly. I swear I did not like watching the video to figure out how to do it. I just was like playing around with it in Canva. And I was like, well, how do I get this to resize it into Instagram so that it fits? And then I was like, well, let me try InstaShot. And it worked with resizing it right off the bat. So, um, again, here you're just seeing me play around with adding text. Um... Changing the background from that gold to black to fit the text. And then you're going to see me add my transparent logo on top of it as well, too. I hope this is helpful to y'all. Um, because, again, you know, this was really off the cuff. 
Um, but I shared it because I thought it was really creative. And um, I had no idea. And I haven't even, I haven't used InstaShot really to kind of, excuse me, to kind of play with anything in there. I just like the way that once you put your video into InstaShot, it kind of gives you like that glare background in the back, which I really like. Um, and so that that's really when I popped it in there and I saw that and I was like, oh, this looks really creative and meme like <laughs> almost. Again, I'm changing the background from the my brand color to black so that the text can show up a lot better. And this is just, you know, me formulating how I wanted everything to kind of look in my head. But then I made a different decision of taking out the text and putting my logo um, in the corner. And then, you know, just a general text at the bottom so that you guys can see that you do have different options. You don't have to just do the text. You can add your logo. Um, you can play around with the colors. I always suggest just pick things that are going to match the overall theme of your your brand and also pick memes or gifs or whatever that's going to fit your narrative that you're trying to display to your audience so that they know it's not really just thrown together it's strategically placed so you know there's a benefit to why you actually used that gift or that sentence or that that um you know image so that people know as you can see here, i'm kind of backtracking because i didn't know what to type there and then i was like i'm just gonna do something generic so i put that uh generic text there and then i changed my uh my changed my at took that off put a generic text and then just add in my logo. Also be aware that you do not have to use a GIF that's on the internet. Um, you can make your own GIFs of yourself if you choose to. And then use those where you see Wendy is in this image here on this, uh, this GIF. Um, which will represent your brand and who you are and all of that as well, too. So if you are quirky or have little ways about yourself that you find funny, use that to your advantage. I have those little things that I say and do that I could be using towards my advantage, too, that I'm thinking about using as well, too. I just have to figure out how to record it and do it. Um, so as you see here in this portion of the, the video tutorial, I have decided to put my logo right next to Wendy in the corner. And then, of course, I put the text at the bottom and then you're going to see me transfer this or download it and then transfer it over to InstaShot and then resize it. So you have that like glaring background in the back. Now we are in InstaShot and I am uploading the video that I just did from Canva and you're going to see me resize this so that it um, has that glare in the background that I like, which makes it look more, I guess, professional in my eyes and more put together. Oh, I always take out the InstaShot image there as well, too. And then if you click on canvas, you can resize it to where it's either bigger or smaller. If you go to the to the left, it'll make it smaller so that you can see that frame just like this here, which I love. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. 
If you have any other questions or any other concerns, of course, you'll just save this as usual. And then you can upload this directly from InstaShot to Instagram. And you can post it in your Insta story or you can post it on your timeline. And of course, once you save it to your phone, you can post it on Facebook, Twitter, wherever other social media platforms you're on as well.